Thanks for watching The Personal History of Games. I'm your host, Eric Canius. Back in September of 2019, I was lucky enough to record a few episodes of the show during PAX West. Today's guest is Kate Stark, a fellow Canadian. Kate spends most of her time streaming on her channel twitch.tv slash Kate, but has since started expanding into other exciting facets of the internet. You can currently find her co-hosting the show Talk Guys Ultimate Chatting with Gary Witta, where they play Fall Guys with special guests from around the entertainment world. The game Kate and I play for this episode of The Personal History of Games is none other than Final Fantasy VII for the PlayStation 1. Content warning, we do pick that part of the game from the list of saves that were in the emulator, so I apologize in advance, but we still had fun and I hope you do too. Here's that conversation. Right, the last time I played this, I was seven. Check this memory card. Oh. You got all the saves in the world. Um, ooh, I think I want to... I want to go to, can I go to this one? Yeah. Heck yeah. This is sick. Kate, how are you doing? I'm doing so good. Day one of PAX? Oh yes, the big picture for the personal history of games is we're starting here, we're on the third floor of the Westin in Seattle, Washington, playing Final Fantasy VII on the first day of PAX. And then now we're gonna go backwards. I forgot how to play this game with <laughs> these controls. Circle is forward. It's Japanese. So circle is forward. X is back. Oh, that Triangle is... Triangle is the menu. Oh, that's so confusing. Yeah. I was like, why am I not doing this right? <laughs> uh, hold X to run. Oh, thank God. Yep. I was trying to do that too, and it just wasn't working. Yeah, so circle is like the interact button. This is one of my favorite parts of the game. Yeah. I just have really good memories of this. And I don't know why, because I I think this is when you have to dress and drag. It's close to, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We were younger then. What did we know? What did we know? <laughs> uh, so yeah, what are your memories with this game? This is the first game I ever remember playing on my own. And obviously, I, it was a long time ago because I don't remember how to play it. I thought I did because I've been so hyped for Final Fantasy VII Remake to come out. I have very just like very happy, fond memories of certain parts of this game. I also remember mm -hmm. the reactor at the beginning being incredibly anxiety-inducing. <laughs> I really, really don't like that part. The market, the chocobo races, like that is all very good for me. Yeah, those chocobo races. As I was getting the set up, I popped into the the golden circle, the golden I think saucer, so. saucer, like that, yeah. Yeah, saucer. Um, yes, and jumped into a chocobo race because that music is amazing. We'll probably have to go there. Uh, should we get KBBQ sushi or today's special? What's the special? I'm gonna let you choose. No. Oh, even just the menu but... select music is so nostalgic to me. <laughs> yes. Well, all the sound of this is bring back. Cause I also played it um, when I was younger. I, like, I think my brother, oh, yes, my, one of my brothers also played it at the same time as I did. And I was playing it. I couldn't get past that boss that you had to heal to kill. No, I hate that. I don't know if I ever beat the game. I did not either. No. Today's special? <laughs> sure. What is it? It's coming up. Whatever mm. it is. 70 gil. Oh. <laughs> what a savings. I also love his his giant uh, forearms. Yeah. All the characters have weird giant forearms. Enjoy. You didn't tell me what it was. It, I, whoa. I, can, I forgot how savage <laughs> I could be. <laughs> it was all Just right. Or I've had silence. better dog food. I'm, I don't want to be a jerk to these people. No. What have they done to me? They served me food. You and I are both Canadians, so we're both going to be yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. It was great. Bye. <laughs> uh, yeah, this game, man. The sound, the... Look everything. at his quads. <laughs> he skipped half of leg day. And also bicep half. day, but yes. forearm day has been super lit. <laughs> Look at the booty. It's non-existent. <laughs> and his calves are toothpicks. I don't know how he carries the sword that he does. The buster sword? Yeah. It's a big boy. <laughs> Sold is. out. I've got nothing for you. <laughs> Sold out of what? That's that's a mood. <laughs> I've got nothing for you. I'm sorry. So before this game, was there any dabbling? Like no Nintendo, no no NES? Uh, no, like there was. There was some... I went to an after school daycare and they had a NES. No, they didn't have a NES. They had a Super Nintendo. And I remember playing some games there. But it was always I had to share with like the daycare person's right. oldest son or something. But this is the one that I remember sitting down and playing on my own and trying to figure it out. And as a seven-year-old, it was really difficult. <laughs> yeah, I think I would have been around the same age. Yeah. Yeah, I don't oh, remember. 
okay. understanding what was happening. No, I really didn't understand that. I remember. <laughs> I'm really glad this is the part that we're coming in on. <laughs> oh, dear. But seeing a, a good example of not understanding what was happening. Just being like, this no. is a fun adventure. For the time period, I was just like, oh, this is fun. I'm putting on a dress. Yeah. And now I'm like, ooh. <laughs> this is very problematic. I wonder how they're going to handle this in the remake. I, I also wonder that. I actually really like Cloud's hair in this. Like <laughs> little pigtails? Well, he went to change, and now he's got pigtails. He's he's working it. He's putting effort into it. So that's something. And now she wants to match. <laughs> this is, sure, this is a cute moment. Yes. It's just shopping. Well, okay. It's still <laughs> weird. It's still, I, can, I can't, I can't get through it. We have to, <laughs> we have to experience this together. <laughs> No, but I remember, yeah, I remember playing, like, some of the Marios. Or Marios, as some people call it. I would say I'm Mario, a Mario, yes. And I remember playing a couple of weird games that I really don't remember what they were. But mm-hmm. I was seven. That was a million years ago. Um, no, but this one holds a special place in my heart. And that's why, again, I'm very excited for the remake. Yeah. I really don't. Oh, I guess I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> Very sleepy. I'm just really tired. It's PAX, you know? I'm just really yep. sleepy. Um, oh, I don't think I have to go into <laughs> no, here. No, this is like the exercise challenge. <laughs> <laughs> they are not wow. impressed with, with, my, with my look. <laughs> ice cold. Eh, so-so. <laughs> Didn't it's even like, do it, anything. It could be better, honestly. What's in here? I can't remember. It's a decent emulator, actually. Wait, do I get to eat more food? <gasps> My dream. <laughs> so after Final Fantasy, did gaming continue, or was it wasn't just like a, this was the big game for a while? Well, it's like it was never my console, mm-hmm. so I never, I never got to continue gaming like at home, kind of thing. So I remember I would like go to friends' houses and play, but. My parents at the time were just like, we're not buying you a console. Why would we ever buy a console? No no console household? No. And so I think the first console I ever purchased myself was I, (laughs) oh God, I was 18 years old. (laughs) And on my 18th birthday, I went and I picked up uh, the credit card that I had pre-ordered from the bank. And it was like, (laughs) I needed to arrive on my 18th birthday, which is when you're allowed to get a credit card. Uh And I went uh, across the street. I was on break from my crappy retail job and I went across the street to the bank and I picked up I picked up my credit card and I went across to EB Games mm-hmm. for GameStop and I bought a PS3 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare and then I went back to work and then went home and played that. I took like three days off work and I just <laughs> played that. So I'm really excited for the new Call of Duty too. Mm-hmm. For some reason Call of Duty is like a big game for me as well. Interesting. And my first ever credit card debt baby's first credit <laughs> card debt <laughs> uh, which was very funny. That is surprisingly similar to my story. Not the credit card, but like I had my job for a few months and then I bought a PS3 cash like a month before the price drop. So that was not great. But I think I did the same thing and I was just <laughs> like, Ugh, that's not good. So that was a big price drop too. That was the big one because I bought it like original price. I have the original PS3. <laughs> I'm so I'm so glad we're playing this storyline right now. Mm. You know what? Cloud is hot. <laughs> Cloud looks good in that dress. Yeah. I I will. You know what? That's right. Until the end when it gets like Ace Ventura phobic at the end here. It's not so bad, but not so bad. I'm not the one to say. So You know what? People should be able <laughs> to wear whatever the heck they want. Yes. I feel comfortable in whatever the heck they want. Absolutely. I'm a jeans and a t-shirt kind of gal myself. All right, they're looking for Tifa. Forgot there's other people in this game. You forgot about Barrett's Tifa gone. and Barrett? I don't remember Barrett. What about Sefi? Sefi, is that the dog? Sephiroth. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who calls him Sefi? I call him Sefi. <laughs> Why? Because I pal? used to be scared of him. Oh. And so I was like, if I give him a name like Sefi, <laughs> then he's not going to be as spooky. It's a real home alone with the, the boiler in the basement thing. I also, I remember loving this imagery, like for a game where, <laughs> look, my biceps are one pixel. <laughs> like, look at the detail of this scenery, the lanterns and the wallpaper, and then my shitty biceps. <laughs> yes, the, the disparity between the backgrounds and the characters <laughs> yeah, is wild. It's in fantastic. These games. 
He's like, oh, why am I so squeezed? <laughs> 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 that was a genuine reaction because I forgot that I looked like this. Am I going to get tall again? Because this is not a good look for me. Yes, the angle of the camera, that low angle. Makes oh, look big. there. I think I'm. I think yeah, it's better you're now. Out. Oh, I don't remember this. Ugh. A child should not have been playing this game. Oh, no. that Tifa. Oh, what's up, girl? <laughs> oh, I thought you were running away. No, I, it ran away for me. <laughs> Hello? Oh no, that's a cutscene. <laughs> that's fine. We can talk over cutscene. All right, so yes, yeah, so it was there. So the jump was from like this playing uh, on someone else's console to the PS3. To the PS3, yeah. Yeah. And then I kind of stayed away from video games. Like played a bunch of PS3 games um, with like friends at the time, and if they had games, they'd bring them over and stuff like that. But then I started working a lot. Uh, it was just like crappy kind of retail jobs and stuff like that. And then I started bartending and then I really had no time for video games. Mm -hmm. I bartended and bar managed full time for four years. And then in 2016, I made a New Year's resolution to myself to create more. Ah. <laughs> uh, and it was just like a really open ended New Year's resolution. Yeah. And that turned into me streaming. So now I'm a full time streamer. Very cool. On Twitch. Uh, and I now I play video games constantly. Yeah. And it's like, it's it's kind of interesting because it feels like work. But at the same time, like I have the best job in the world. I get I get to play video games and hang out with people on the internet. Mm -hmm. And so it was like a really weird jump of like, play games a lot when you're really young. And then don't play games for like several years. And now I play games every single day. And my life is like revolved around games. So outside of games, were you not like a, a media consuming person? Did you watch movies, listen to music in that gap? Like, it's weird. I don't really watch movies. I think I just don't have the attention span for films. <laughs> so TV shows, absolutely. Like I can, it's weird. I can sit for six hours and binge like a Netflix series, but get me to watch a movie. And I'm like, <laughs> I, just, I am not invested in this. I don't have the time. Music. Yeah, there was music in there too. But I think it was just like being a bartender, you're very extroverted right. and so when I would come home I'd just be like oh, I'm gonna sleep <laughs> I don't want to do anything like I want to eat and then I want to go to bed yep I forgot what they said in the cutscene that doesn't matter but I got some ether so <laughs> yeah I find good. it similar like yeah being super busy of just sometimes quiet is nice and doing mm -hmm. nothing is nice and not I don't know at least for for how my brain works not interacting with stuff or like I don't need something to distract I want nothing yeah so like after PAX last year I would just put my headphones in with nothing in them and just go home or yeah. go to the Airbnb which is like like try and quiet things a little bit yeah. and not listen to anything I do that just like normally yeah. I'll just wear headphones and I'll be like ah oh, I've been on the bus for 40 minutes I haven't turned anything on <laughs> interesting it's calming it's yeah like a head hug it is yeah <laughs> it is it's like reverse ASMR yeah but it still feels nice yes <laughs> um, but yeah, so that, I, mean, I still don't really like listen to music. I really like music, but again, I think a lot of the music listening I do is during a stream. Because mm -hmm. if I'm playing a game and I'm streaming, I'll have something like low in the background, just like hanging out and playing. And that's where I do a lot of my consuming of stuff. Mm -hmm. And now I watch a lot of TV because I, a lot of my work is so interactive with games that sometimes I want to put on just like the trashiest reality yes. show. So I love reality TV. Which? And people hate me for it, but I'm like, I. it is the <laughs> physically the only way that I can take my brain and put it into like a drawer and shut off because I don't need to think about anything. I don't need to think about reality television. It just happens to me. What are you watching? I love reality TV. What are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's this no shame here. There's no this program, uh, this is an app in Canada called Hey You. And I just signed up for it and it's like five dollars a month, but it's Netflix just for reality Ooh. television. So it's <laughs> I've got heard like of this. Yeah, it's brand new. <laughs> and so I've watched like this is not sponsored. I need to point that out. <laughs> but it's like every real housewives of every city possible, it's there. You want the Kardashians? <laughs> Which one? They're all there. With like any Love Island, sure. Big Brother, I don't know. It's probably there, but it's just fantastic. So that is what I'll watch. Or like, I just started rewatching Breaking Bad. 
because there's the new yes, movie the coming out, out about Jesse Pinkman. Heck yeah. So I forgot how the show ended. So I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just going to rewatch it. I have like two months to watch five seasons. I can do that. That's doable, definitely. I'm not paying attention to this no, that's dialogue. Fine. Just walk away. Okay. Are they still? Is it still? They're still talking. Oh, jeez, Kate, we don't need to pay attention. To that. No. I thought you'd like just kept clicking. No. On. Oh boy. She's <laughs> she's giving me her life story. I'm like, girl, I'm sorry, I don't care. I mean, right this now. dungeon is really bad to find someone in. Yeah. But uh, well done. At least there's a fireplace. Oh, oh, somebody's here. Oh, <gasps> now you got caught. Look at this mm. little squished boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a child asking yeah. you to meet the dawn. Come meet the dawn. <laughs> oh no, come meet the dawn. Uh, oh, I started playing Minecraft recently. Yes. And all these like children will come into my Twitch chat. <laughs> and I guess there's a meme on the internet from like a song from a streamer, a Minecraft person, of going in and like yelling creeper to people so they think a creeper's behind them. Mm. So all these kids would be like, oh no, you look out everybody, there's a creeper behind you, huh? You're gonna, oh no, you're gonna explode, watch out. And I'm just like, I, there's no creeper behind me. It, I, I know for a fact. And then they're like, but the meme. And I'm like, oh, right, I'm too old. <laughs> I'm, I'm a near 30 year old woman and I have no idea what you're talking about. Drag those kids. Yeah. Well, I always ask, I'm like, how old are you? Like pure curiosity. I'm just like, how old are you? And they're like, well, I'm 14. I'm like, get off Twitch. Go spend time with your parents. <laughs> you probably shouldn't be here. Cherish the time you have. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's fleeting. <laughs> Please. Hey, folks, if you're enjoying this podcast, Beamed Media has another new podcast I think you'll love. It's called Do We Like? And I co-host it along with my partner, Robin. Robin, do you want to explain the show? Thanks, Eric. Hi, I'm Robin, co-host of Do We Like, a podcast where Eric and I debate common people, places, and things to decide if we like them or need to leave them. Join us each week as we debate controversial topics like pickles, underwear, bubble tea, and Queen Elizabeth I. Subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts or come find us at dowelike.com. See, look at the detail on the carpet. Yeah, it's like these beautifully like, hand-painted yeah. uh, little backgrounds. And the flames. My hair can't do anything better <laughs> than this. All right. What's up, buddy? Do I have to go all the way around? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I forgot his name was Koch. <laughs> so bad. Good names, good names. Oh, boy. This is so bad. Yeah. I'm sorry to if this oh, is God. making anybody uncomfortable. Corneo. I thought it was Don Cornea. <laughs> <laughs> yes, apologies to people. everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everyone. Oh. 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 I think there's, don't what? you have to get, oh yeah, you can get like different wigs and stuff because you have to be, you have to do something very specific to get them to choose you. Yeah. Oh, oh. I think I did it. <laughs> Congratulations, me. <laughs> Thank you, Save Game from Game Facts. Yeah. Hey. Appreciate it. <laughs> Healthy looking. <laughs> That's the only thing I've ever wanted to be described as. I go to my doctor. Well, you're a healthy looking girl. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Corneo. I really appreciate that. I've been drinking my milk and I've been taking my vitamins. <laughs> what? What? Wait a sec. No, oh, please wait a moment. Really crushing this hole. Oh, I no. oh, <laughs> He's correctly I, unlikable. <laughs> they did it. <laughs> yeah, they did the right thing. <laughs> you can have the other ones. Oh, what a nice guy. So generous. <laughs> He's sharing. Yeah. Exclamation wow. and tarot bang at the end there. It's a very excited <laughs> man. Shall we go? <laughs> shall, shall we? Jeez, too thirsty. Too thirsty, five me. <laughs> the thing I love about Pax is because of where we're recording it, we're seeing like so many cosplays go by and yeah. this one cosplay was just a dude in his dressing gown like in his house robe and his jammies <laughs> and then like I think like a, a lady Hawkeye behind and I'm like what's the correlation between these, <laughs> these two cosplays Ooh. oh 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 this got sexy <laughs> there's so much happening right there's now there's a lot going on both of us are very uncomfortable <laughs> oh I just realized we're on a bed yes Oh! You, are you moving? Okay, good. I'm moving, but it's only because <laughs> I'm making him move. I am making him work for it. It's real. Uh, I've been watching Austin Powers recently, so this reminds me of Austin Powers. This is super Austin Powers. 
Look at this room, though. I mean, it's... He's got spotlights over here. Look at his... He's got spotlights. He's got a disco Is ball. Is that a jukebox in the corner? Yeah, it kind of looks like it. pretty bad. A lot of pillows on the left. Yeah, I actually, I dig the pillows. <laughs> uh, the giant lantern in the corner. Oh, that do I have to get massive. in bed with him, probably? I think I just refused to do this part before. <laughs> Oh, see, well, that's, that's all a nice. That's you're gonna do, Mister. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wait until I slice your face off with my bus record. <laughs> oh, uh, do I like him too? Uh, sure. Play along. Well, I don't of know course. what the goal is here. Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember I was like, oh, I remember this game had a really bad part in it. It's when I have to like dress up like a girl, <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, this is the part I picked. <laughs> You definitely landed right on it. I, I, I could not have picked a worse part. Uh, I don't want to circle back, but do you watch 90 Day Fiance? Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it. I've been making, so like, uh, I do Also, wedding. sorry, do we call him daddy or do we not really care? Uh, well, what do you think he wants? He likes hard to get. I don't really care. Exactly. Oh. He likes hard to get. So there we go. Oh. <gasps> His name's Barrett. <laughs> I'm in love with my best friend Barrett. Yes. I mean, it's true. No way. Uh-oh. Uh, <gasps> oh, did I pick wrong? <laughs> you know, he's got a giant gun for an arm. <laughs> His forearms Wait, are the he, size of like, my entire Cloud body. Just, um, confirmed who he was. It's like the guys from Avalanche. And how do you know? Oh, it's a oh. twist. <gasps> what a twist. <laughs> Ta -da. Oh, my God. I just Clark Kent, <laughs> Clark Kent did that. <laughs> Oh no, you tricked me. Somebody get in here. <gasps> oh, what a clever ruse. <laughs> He's so vulnerable. Good trick, good trick. I'm curious about what you're talking about, 90 Day Fiance, though. It's great. <laughs> Chop it's them off. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Wait, what are we chopping? Oh. They're chopping them off. Oh, I did shoot. not know it got into such detail. I forgot. I was seven. <laughs> yes. We were seven. We were seven playing <laughs> this. this. Is inappropriate. This is nasty. <laughs> uh, not even fiance. I was like, can we just loop back to that? Because we're talking. I've been making people stuff. watch it. Because <laughs> I watched it and go, this is great. And then, like, I oh made my. Oh my God. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep getting interrupted. <laughs> oh. Uh. You've been making people watch it. I've been it. making people watch it because my fiance never saw it, so I made her watch it. And then I was uh, working with a friend out of town, so I made them watch it in the hotel. I was like, I hope none of your fiance's on. And of course it is because it's always on. It's always on. And so I made them watch it and had to describe everyone, including Paul, who I hate. Uh, I think my favorite is Chrissy Teigen and John Legend just started watching it. Ooh. And I mean, Internet's favorite couple. <laughs> uh, and so Chrissy Teigen was like live tweeting their <laughs> watching of it for the first time. And it was just gold. It was absolute <laughs> gold. Because <laughs> John is just there. There's like a video and he's like, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I love this so much. I'm like, that's me with reality television. That's how I watch it too. It got a little dark. I like, we we're watching it um, starting from like season two going forward to catch up, even though I watched the new season as well. Just like after a while, it just gets dark. It's oh, just yeah. Hard to it's like, oh, this is kind of like, sad, but great TV. Very sad. Some of the couples, like, oh, no. <laughs> You're getting the only one that I can like picture is I think she's from Eastern Europe and he has like short brown hair. And his name is Colty. Is that him? <laughs> no, it's not Colt. Oh. Colt is the bad one. <laughs> Colt was fine. The lady was awful. Oh, okay. But she was like, I'm here to be a gold digger. And like <laughs> yeah. that, she, and yes. it turns out he was like lying about how much money he made or something. Mm. I can't remember who he was, but he's like, they're like a famous 90 Day Fiance couple. Ooh. I could show you a picture. I'm mean, <laughs> sure if I Google searched it, he would be like the first face that came up. All right. You're going to do it, aren't yep. you? Yeah, I'm good. Gonna, I got to do it now. 90 Day, Day Fiance. Fiance. <laughs> What's the keyword? I don't know. Gold digger? Yeah. That's the one. That's that's <laughs> him. That was him. That's them. <laughs> I've never seen them before. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I've oh, seen. they're amazing. You need to watch their season. <laughs> Why? What's what's so, the what's the down low on them? So, she, like I said, she's from I think Eastern Europe or maybe Russia. Her name is Enfisa, and his is Jorge. That's them. <laughs> uh, and basically, before she came to live with him in America, he was like, "I'm super rich, and I can buy you everything." Uh. And she's like, "Great, I want that." And then she showed up, and he's like. I don't have anything. And she's like, I mean, rightly, I guess, upset. 
if she was like, I'm very clear with what I want. I guess, yeah, if she's being up front, then, yeah. yeah. And he just, like, is, like, in debt and stuff. And I'm like, well, I guess you you both kind of goofed up here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know what you were expecting. I mean, you, you made a mistake. But if you stayed. haven't seen this program, uh, the quick TLDR is don't. But also, <laughs> uh, it's essentially a lot of green card marriages. Yes. That's what it's called in America, right? Yes. Yeah, green card mar- marriages. And it's like, they meet online, and then they come, and they have 90 days to get engaged, and then they have to get married. And it's just... Trash. Yes. But it's perfect. 90% of the couples are, yeah, someone's taking advantage of someone and it's sad. Then there's like the young couple that's usually kind of hopeful. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, oh, yeah, I can see these guys working, hopefully. Do you remember the... Uh, I'm still playing the game for <laughs> listeners <laughs> you just at home. keep pressing the button and we can move but, forward. But, um... It, oh, we have to, um... Same. <laughs> uh, why are we doing? Why are they? He closing us. Oh. Oh, oh I shouldn't have picked that. <laughs> <laughs> so we get for not paying attention. I goofed That's it. That's fine. But there was like the kind of older lady who was engaged to this like really young hot dude, and it turns out he was like stealing from her the whole time, and I felt so yeah. bad for her. I was just like, you just wanted happiness, and you. Well, that's that's the sad. That's the part that always gets me of like these older women who are just trying to find happiness, yeah. and these young men are like super taking advantage of them, and they're like borderline sociopathic, and look at how cold they are with this stuff. Absolutely, and it's heartbreaking because yeah. they just want happiness, and you see that in them, and like you, I don't know, you see them constantly making the wrong decision, but so maybe don't watch this show. <laughs> if you have a heart, it's probably watch Real Housewives. It's way trashier. <laughs> look at this thick lad. <laughs> I like in the beard. I like his suit. Who's the man? Look at his look at the cuffs on his <laughs> jacket. His hands are clipping through them. See, they can do calves and biceps. And Cloud has neither. This no. guy has a booty as well. <laughs> and Cloud does He's not. He's got it going on. And he has a <laughs> strut. <is> he like? <laughs> look at this guy's wow. arms. That was quite the strut. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness! All right, back on track here. Oh, we've been off track. That's for a fine. Long time. This, is what, this is what the whole thing's gonna be about. This I've, is fine. Yeah, just chatting while it packs. I guess going into your your Twitch community is a very positive. Oh yeah. A positive being at large. Absolutely. It was that? I mean, obviously, we all want a positive community. Is that hard keeping it that way? Are you finding it no. self policing? I mean. Yeah, once you kind of build up a community on Twitch who they're all positive people there for positivity and inclusivity, if somebody comes in and is like, you know, saying shitty things or you know, being homophobic or something, our moderate moderation team is like super on it. Like I've got so many great moderators, but we also have like um, certain words that are like blacklisted. We'll just automatically time you out. But then also people in the community are just like, hey, dude, that's not cool. Like, we don't accept that here. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, it's definitely self-policing after a while, which is great. But people are just generally really kind because so much of the internet is terrible yes. that when they find these really cool <laughs> communities, they're like, hey, can I just can I hang out here for a while? It's like, absolutely, come on in. <laughs> just, you know, hang out. It's totally fine. It is lovely. It's so nice because it's where I spend all my time. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's my job, so think... I stream quite a bit. So think like 50 to 60 hours a week. If I was in this like toxic, awful environment, I would go bonkers. Oh, no. Finally in a fight. (laughs) It took half an hour. (laughs) I was really trying to avoid it. This is a big fight too. (laughs) All right, this is it. Your test. Shoot. (laughs) Uh, I will likely die. He hurt himself. But I have my limit break, so it's cool. Yes, this music, uh, like every piece of music in this is bringing back so many memories of this damn game. That's it? <laughs> oh, this you is You don't depressing. have the cross? Whatever. I don't think a lot of this is leveled. No, I found that <laughs> when I did a test here. <laughs> oh, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> I mean, you're surviving. You have a lot of health. This, guy, this hurts himself, so. Yeah, I don't know why he's... I mean, it hurt... It missed Cloud, so that's fine. Ooh. Dum, ba, dum, yes. Hey, triple yes. Uh, so you you were on the panel before, the Personal mm-hmm. History of Games panel, and you mentioned how supportive your parents are now in the games. Oh, yeah. Was that hard to convince? No, not really. 
like they've always been really supportive with whatever I'm doing. That's good. They were very happy that I stopped bartending ah, yes. <laughs> because that was <laughs> uh, very bad. Mm. Um, but like my mom is so cute. She will, if she sees news articles about streaming, she'll cut them out and she'll mail them to me. Was it a big day when Ninja arrived? <laughs> <laughs> God. When the news took over. No, it wasn't so bad, luckily. Um, she, it's just really cute. Like she'll, my dad will like email me news articles. And my mom will cut them out of the paper and send them to me. But no, they totally get it. And like they've both been on my streams before. Right. My mom came and played Stardew Valley with me for a bit. Aww. Hey, look at that. Hey. Get at it. Oh, you she. You had to believe in yourself. It was my mom. I was channeling my mom and my <laughs> there dad. You go. <laughs> Um, no, but like my my dad has baked with me on my stream before, Aww. and my mom has played Stardew Valley with me and also baked. And so like <laughs> on Christmas, I, I don't live in the same city as them, but on Christmas I'll go stay with them. And my <laughs> I was like enjoying Christmas morning, and my mom walks out and she hands me my laptop and she's like, "You need to stream." I was like, "What?" And she's like, "Your viewers are probably wanting to see what you got for Christmas, and you should go and hang out with them." I was like what and she's like go get online it's just like i thought it was so cute and then they would like pop in the background and be like hello merry christmas chat loaf i hope you're doing well Aww. yeah they're super cute and supportive <laughs> that's fantastic yeah it's supposed to be in at pax was it always a goal to travel i mean yeah i i love traveling i never thought it would be part of like my job mm -hmm. which is really cool oh limit break just if I, let's <laughs> put it down on these little boys um yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, like, I love traveling. Uh, my mom's from England, oh. and I'm a dual citizen, so I would spend recently a dual citizen. I'm very, Congratulations. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> um, and so I would, yeah, we would travel a lot as, as kids and as a family and stuff. And so I always wanted a job that included travel. And so the fact that I get to do it for my job and see awesome friends while I'm here, like, I get to see you, and that's, like, that's so rad. And... Part of my job means I get to hang out with my community and hang out with friends, and that's like I can't ask for anything more. Mm -hmm. This New Year's resolution worked out. Are you a big New Year's resolution person? I've never kept one except create more, <laughs> and it turned into my full-time job. And like nearly four years later, I'm still doing it. The most fantastic New Year's resolution, going four years strong. Yeah, <laughs> and it like it took me. It's taken me to. Like all through the states, it's taken me to. I mean, I moved cities because of it. Um, which is like one of the best decisions I've ever made. I've been to Australia because of it. Um, and there's the thing is, as far as traveling, like there's always new conventions, mm -hmm. which is cool because like Gamescom, it was just in Germany. I didn't go, but <laughs> I hope to at some point. <laughs> yes. But like TwitchCon EU, that's going to be probably moving around. And there's like all these opportunities to loop travel and friendship and stuff into work. And I'm just like, oh, that's so cool. That is very cool. Yeah. You hit the jackpot. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> So you, would you always consider yourself an outgoing person? Was was streaming no. easy for you? Streaming? Starting? Well, um, sort of. I'm a huge introvert. I really don't love being around people. <laughs> but the cool thing is, at conventions, I find it really easy. For some reason, I don't I don't know why. But I think it's because I know that everyone here is a certain level of introvert. So it's like it's okay, pals. We're in this together. <laughs> and you kind of put on like a business. At least I do. I put on like a little business face and I'm never being disingenuous, but it's just like, okay, I'm here and I'm going to network and I'm going to meet people. Yeah. And it's going to be awesome. And so I save a lot of my like social energy for weekends like this. Mm -hmm. But when PAX is over, I'm like, I need to go home <laughs> and I can't talk to anybody for like a week. Yep. But starting a stream was pretty fine because at the time, like I said, it was bartending. So I was probably right. in the most like outgoing part of my life. I really need to heal. Um <laughs> <laughs> And so, yeah, it, it came pretty naturally because people would come into my bar and sit there and they were strangers and I had to make them feel welcome and talk right. to them and learn about them. And that's very much like a streamer kind of thing to do. It's basically you're, you have a bar. Yeah. that, Huh. <laughs> yeah. See? <laughs> I like thinking of it as a funny a little virtual bar and you're there with your washcloth on the counter. Yeah. And it's like, tell me about yourself. Yeah, you throw it over your shoulder. You go, but yeah, if you, if you think about it, people are, strangers are coming in and yep. they're sitting down and they're saying hello and you learn about them and you get your regulars, you get your people who come in maybe once a week or once a month or mm -hmm. come in once and then they hate it and they never come back. <laughs> but like, it's, it is kind of like a, a virtual bar in the sense of like a gathering. 
which so, is really neat. So what made you want to bartend right. then? I needed money. <laughs> that would do it. <laughs> <laughs> I had just been laid off from my previous job, mm. which I uh, was fine. I didn't really like that <laughs> job. <laughs> they just didn't have uh, space for me anymore. And then, yeah, I was like, well, this place is hiring. I've never bartended, but like, let's give it a go. And I did, and great. Um, <laughs> and then, again, streaming just was a kind of progression of a New Year's resolution, which turned out just the best. I've never been able to, like, lose weight from a New Year's resolution. <laughs> I've never, like, you know, what are the main ones? It's like, drink more water, lose weight, save money, <laughs> all this shit. And I'm like, I can stream. <laughs> drink more water is kind of a sad one. <laughs> hey, I need to drink more water. <laughs> <laughs> I know well, it's, a, it's a noble goal, but, like, the fact that it has to be a goal is unfortunate. Listen. It, it, I only drink water because I work at a desk, and like I do it's just that. Something as, to it's do. something to do. So yeah. I drink so much water. I do the same sort of thing, actually. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Hey, fights. I don't see them for half an hour, and then it's just all that it is. <laughs> Aerith has to heal. Yes. Tifa's dying. Oh, I skipped it by accident. F. Tifa's gonna die. <laughs> I've let Tifa die here. <laughs> I guess to start wrapping up, I'm trying to find the thread. This is what I'm working on. The thread that we're, that we're looking at is going from Final Fantasy to here being in Seattle, Washington from Canada. And uh, who would have thunk? I honestly would not have sitting in my living room in a different country as, you know, 21 years ago. I wouldn't have thought that I would be here doing this, especially as a job. Mm -hmm. And like the the cool commonality as well is that the remake of this comes out. Yeah. But it's coming out and I get to do like I get to play the remake of this game for my job that I started doing three and a half years ago. I didn't think it would go anywhere or take off, and it has, and I'm so lucky. But the fact that seven year old me gets to play the cool like HD remaster of this 20, you know, 20 some odd years down the road mm -hmm. is a very cool, is a very cool thing for me. Yeah, it's funny how things work out like that. It really is. <laughs> Why can't I? I'm pretty sure you can go up top. I thought I. Oh my god! It keeps like <laughs> sucking me in. I don't want to be here. A poignant <sighs> finish. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. Uh, what do you want to plug? We'll uh, talk about PUBG next time. Sure. In the future, I'll come back on this. That's hey. fine. Um, I, well, first of all, I want to plug Cloud's giant forearms. <laughs> no, I want to talk about my Twitch channel. Um, so I'm a streamer. I'm a full time streamer. Uh, six days a week over on twitch.tv slash Kate, K-A-T-E. And uh, also I tweet a lot, twitter.com slash Kate Stark. And you can find all my links to everything else on that Twitter. Uh, but yeah, come and be a part of our community. It's really chill. It's really casual. It's fun, inclusive. It's a, it's a positive part of the internet. It's our little cozy corner of the internet. That's what we need right now. Oh, more than ever. <laughs> well, <gasps> oh. <laughs> 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 leave it up to the random fights to interrupt everything and anything one of those it's okay you do the outro and I'm just gonna All right, I'm gonna fight button mash this out. oh these are easy look I'm owning crap of them well that wraps up this episode of the personal history of games thank you so much for being on Kate thank you for having me oh, of course and enjoy the rest of your packs oh I, I hope will. it's wonderful me too I hope you have time to relax at some point I don't afterwards yay <laughs> You can hear more of the personal history of games on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, or wherever else you listen to podcasts. If you enjoyed this episode and want to help us out, please leave us a rating and review. For updates, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at PHOGpod, or check out our website at personalhog.com. The show is hosted and produced by Eric Canius, executive produced by Robin Lands. Do We Like is brought to you by Beamed Media, a Canadian podcast network. Like, I know we're done, but I definitely just have to finish this. That's fine. These are weird. Yeah, I don't like these at all. They're stealing your life. I know, and they just heal themselves? Okay, one, one's done. <laughs> I thought one already was done. I thought one was done, too, and I think <laughs> it just came back. Okay. I don't... They're what? not dying. Okay, they're not is, dying, they're disappearing. This is bullshit. Because they're not going they're red. Not going red. <laughs> oh, that one's dead. <laughs> this is bullshit. I really should have healed them, but. Yeah, you got it. Uh. <laughs>
<laughs> Wasted bolt. But, yeah. This is bullshit. What a bad game. <laughs> Can't say that. We have to support it because everyone calls it bad. I don't mind it. I love this game. Yes. It's bad, though. <laughs> Why? Look at it's it. Not... <laughs> oh, I did it. This That's is a great, great. game. What a fantastic Yay. game. Yay. Classic music. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs>